What's up guys, I'm uh, going to do a tutorial to try and help people who are having troubles installing remote play. So, as you can see, this is Note 3. I am going to provide a link in the description for the files that you're going to need for this. Download them, put them on your, well, wherever you want. Internal memory, external, doesn't really matter, uh, just as long as you know where they are. So then, once you've done that, you're only going to want Root Explorer, I would say, it's up to you, whatever you want to use. I find this easier, because you've got the two different uh, tabs that you can jump between here. So basically, um, I've put them in a folder called Remote Play. Now in there, you're going to find the app for Remote Play. Uh, oh, and my of the phone deciding it doesn't want to focus. Uh, just bear with me guys. I don't know why it's struggling, but anyway. Um, a data folder, a system folder. Now that's where they've got to go in the root. So um, that's where we're going to install them. So there we go. We've, we've got the focus back. So if we go Firstly, I'm going to copy the app, and you want to put that into System App, and paste it in there. I'm not going to because I've got it. The other thing I've done for completeness, I don't know if it matters, I've actually renamed it to Remote Play. Um, once in there, and this is why I suggest using this one, you can change the permissions. Um, and you just want to untick these two here and then that's that sorted you have to do this for every file so I'm not going to show you that every time I've shown you it there so again hold your finger down permissions untick these two and then you can it should work so once you've done that that's in system app it's up to you if you want to rename it I did but it doesn't really matter so then we'll go back to here in data Dalvik cache you've got this. So you want to again copy it, come back out of here and we go to data Dalvik and then you paste it in there and then it's just a case of finding it so it's data at app at I think it's com.playstation if you can't remember what it's called just flick to the other tab oh, and, and then you've got its name and you can flick back and then find it and again once you've got that you need to set the permission uh, there it is so you hold it down permissions and have them set like that. Um, once you've done that, I go back system and there's two in here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through this fully because you, you, I'm sure you catch a drift. It's system etc permissions and you can go into here. If you go back, you're in system etc and then find permissions and paste them in and, and change the permissions on them so I'm not going to go through both of them, but you have to do that for both of those you have to do it for the system etc permissions and the framework and put the jar files in set the permissions again they're the only files that you need to use I'm not going to move the DualShock files because frankly it's not working and I don't see the point oh, tweets there so um so yeah, we, we, we won't bother doing that aspect. Once you've moved these files, everything's there is ready to go um, reboot your phone at this point. Um, again, I don't have to, I've already got it all set up, so I'm not going to reboot. So the next step then, obviously, you're going to want to play with your pad, and the DualShock Manager doesn't work. So we're not going to mess around with that at this stage. If devs get it sorted, then that's fine. We'll we'll look at that. So the next stage, you want to go on your PlayStation. Uh, 
and eventually when this starts, all you need to do, I'm not, again I'm not going to go into this in too much detail because you can google information and it's all there, but basically um, create a new account. So if you hold your PlayStation button down, sorry about my wonky camera holding here, you see sadly, I thought it was going to crash, this 2.0 update's actually messed with my PlayStation 4, so if this crashes, sorry folks, but basically you go to Switch user, you can create a new one, so you can see I've got two here, you create a new one, once you've done that, you go into that one there, you go to your settings, users, and login settings, and make sure that login to the PS4 automatically is ticked for your secondary account. Oh, oh yeah, no, that's right. So that's ticked for my secondary account. The reason we have to do it with the secondary account is to play your first account, you need to go. You need to log into that on your phone and then turn your pad on and select your first account. So let's show you now. We go back to the phone. Um, of course, by this point, I've lost focus again. By this point, you will have rebooted. There is one extra step you need to. Sorry about that. The football started. There's one extra step, and that is you might get a force close on your reboot. So come back to where the file is and just install it like that yeah and because you've put the other files in it will install properly that should stop your force close and the other step is if you're on a stock ROM Samsung um, with TouchWiz or, or any you know any of the main ones HTC you need to uninstall whatever your super user app is unfortunately there's no way around this as of yet if you're using CM as I am or, or uh, Pac-Man or any open source ROM you can install um, Exposed and then use Root Cloak and you place Remote Play and a place the PlayStation app into um, Remote Play. Uh, sorry, into Root Cloak. So, I seem to be a popular man today. Sorry guys, Is this uh, constantly going off. Um, so yeah, once you've put them into Root Cloak, it hides Root, you don't need to uninstall it, I haven't, I've still got Root, um, as you saw with Root Explorer, because that was working properly, um, so basically I'm just going to jump straight into this now. Oh, it does this sometimes, I'm not sure why. There we go. So as you can see, that is a mirror of my television right now. But on here now, if I press the PlayStation button on my pad, I've now got the option. Now this is my main account, which I'm going to pick. And you have to press the button one more time to log in as you, the PlayStation button on your pad, and there you go. I now have control with my main account of Remote Play. So hopefully, you you know you guys have found that relatively easy to follow. If you've got any questions, just drop it in the comments. I'll try and get back to you. But the the file in in the description should be working, and I'll also put a link to Wesley 32's uh, text-based guide from XDA, which should help a lot. So I hope that was useful. Please like my video. Please subscribe. I'll get some more up eventually. Um, if you want any specific requests, drop it in the comments and I'll get back to you. But I hope that helped and uh, I'll see you guys soon.